Hey guys, my name is Chad and this is going to be a really quick tutorial on how to set up Clover for your AMD hack. So I had to install Clover to get my NVIDIA web drivers working properly on Sierra and your reasons for installing Clover might be different, though if you have no reason for installing Clover and your hack's working just fine, then you probably don't need to install Clover. To get started, you're going to want to download the Clover package installer and Clover configurator through the download links in the description below. You're also probably running Yosemite or later, so go ahead and download the vibrant edition of Clover configurator. So this is the part that most of you guys have probably already done, which is just install Clover. Getting it to boot is what's important here. Once the Clover installation is complete, open up the drive that you installed Clover on and make sure there is a Clover folder in the EFI folder. If there is no EFI folder or Clover folder, then you're going to have to mount your EFI partition, which I will teach you how to do in the next step. If you do see the Clover folder, then you can skip the whole mounting step. Alright, so now that Clover is installed, we can go ahead and open Clover Configurator. So if you didn't just install Clover, your EFI partition probably isn't mounted, so let's go ahead and mount the partition. Try disk 0 at first, it could be disk 1, but we'll be able to find out in just a second here. Alright, so once your EFI is mounted, go to File, Open, head over to your EFI partition, and if you don't see a Clover folder in the EFI folder, then you've opened the wrong disk, so then go ahead and try to open another disk. Now that the config is open, we're going to go ahead and add the necessary boot flags required for booting on an AMD machine, which are verbose mode, which isn't necessarily required, though is highly recommended, NPCI3000-F, and no compatibility check. And now when you're done making these changes, you can go ahead and head over to File, and then Save. And if Clover Configurator tells you that you don't have permission to save, just save the config somewhere else and then go ahead and drag and drop it yourself. So once your config is in place, go ahead and open it with any text editor. So once you've opened it, go ahead and hit the Windows key and F and search for USB. And you want to find Fix Ownership and Inject and make sure they're both set to false. And once that's done, you can go ahead and save. And just close out of text edit. Alright guys, so that's about all it takes to get Clover up and running on your AMD machine. If you already have the web drivers installed, you should be able to boot right into graphics acceleration without a problem. I will also leave a download link in the description to the exact config I used to get my own machine up and running in my last video. So as always guys, thanks for watching.